What we're going to do now is illustrate how we publish a quality stage or data stage job as a service. This is a quality stage job that performs matching. It takes in names and address information and detail and then produces a list of potential duplicate information that we already have on our master data management system returning potentially multiple names that match. This is used often in batch so I can process millions of rows and see where we might have duplicate accounts but I also want to be able to deploy that exact same logic as shown here as a service where a row gets standardized compared using quality stage to our master data management golden copy of customers and then the potential duplicates are output. Having as a service will help us prevent duplicates from ever being entered. So we go over to the information services director console we are going to create a new application. This new application is the unit of deployment that contains potentially many services and each individual service that I am going to create will then have an appropriate WSDL attached to it. So we create the application, we can put in a pr appropriate additional metadata. In this case, we're going to create a service that is called account processing. Again, I can add detailed metadata and commentary. And note that I can also have detailed security. WS security for basic authentication as well as confidentiality. Then we add the all-important bindings, which is the way that we are going to communicate with it. In this case, we're going to choose SOAP over HTTP, which is the most common binding. However, we do have other options. Even within the binding, we can create additional options, although the defaults are usually appropriate. When we create a new operation, this is where we actually point to the particular data stage job that you're wishing, wish, or quality stage job we need to deploy. We're going to call this real-time matching. We'll put in some commentary that describes what this particular operation is doing. Metadata for the service is, of course, extremely important, especially when we use the registry to review and retrieve WSDL definitions. We create an operation. We also have various performance options and load balancing options that we can choose. We have a variety of load balancing configuration possibilities. Now let's go actually select the particular process that we want to deploy. In this case, it is a data stage or quality stage job. It's the one that we just looked at. So it's available to me here in the tree. I'm going to pick that particular job, which was ISD demo match and say OK. What it does is it pulls all the metadata back from that job, illustrating it here as part of my inputs. That will be the input message in the WSDL. And then the output metadata from that job, or the return name information, is going to be what will be sent back to the waiting client. Notice that we had to say it was an array to accept multiple names. And as we can see here, there are very uh, a good selection of performance criteria we can set depending upon the volume of traffic that we expect for this particular service. And that's all there is. When I'm finished with the application, I will then deploy it. Once it is deployed, it produces the WSDL and puts that WSDL immediately into the Information Services Registry. So we go to the Information Services Registry where you can look at the details of our deployed services. Here are the list of various deployed services that we already have. Let's open this one and take a look at the particular operation where we're reviewing the metadata and ultimately want to take a look at the WSDL itself. Here is the operation for real-time matching with our particular description. If we come to the bindings tab, you'll see the SOAP over HTTP that we selected and the opportunity to choose the WSDL document. This is a fully standard WSDL which we can then consume or import into whatever tooling we are using to build our client application. It's now ready to be invoked.
Thank you.